Hey YouTube, I'm um, back. This is going to be kind of a long video. This is an LCS recap. And I had not gone to the LCS for like six, seven months prior to this. So I got a lot of stuff. I've been saving up. I um, I bought, or I sold a lot of stuff. So I'm going to bring bad shit on here. So, alright. Um, yeah, I'm going to just get right in. I bought a bunch of boxes. Um, and I got one monster, absolute monster to hit at the end. Uh, so I made up for it. The rest of the stuff was only eh. In terms of boxes, but like one monster hit made up for it, and I, I'd say I made most of, because like hobby box, the price I have at that place are pretty decent, so I'd say I made most of my money back. Um, so first of all, I bought this non-sport box, kind of neat. I got this uh, box, season two, Game of Thrones. If anyone's interested, it's like, I love the show. It's uh, I'd highly recommend getting a box. It's like 80 bucks, and you get two autographs, and it's it's fun to break, and you got a lot of cool stuff in there. You're gonna have like really nice refractors. I can show I'll just show one. Yeah, here. Uh, Jack and Hagar. Trying to eat refractor, not number, but they're, they're nice looking. And you got these other cool cards. It's like one per box insert. It's like cool material. You can kind of see in the reflection um, of the houses. So they're like House Targaryen, House Tyrell, House Lannister, House Stark. I got House Baratheon. It has part of the map on the back. It's kind of neat. Map of Westeros. You got Interfall right there. So it's kind of neat. Uh, autographs I got. First one wasn't so good. Second one was much better. First one was a minor character who dies. So I got the Spice King from Karth. Um, the second one I got was uh, much better. She's a main character in season two. So uh, Egret. Jon Snow's wildling lover. Okay, so there we go. Um, sorry if that spoiled anything. I don't think the Wild and Live really spoils as much about the plot, but sorry if that offended anyone. Um, the next box I got was I got two boxes of 2014 Gypsy Queen. I've seen some sick stuff pulled out of it. I did not get any sick stuff, sadly, but um, yeah. I got one box, and then the last the remaining 22 packs of another box. So I got seven hits. One of the jerseys was missing from some guy like had up over the open box before I got there, pulled out two packs. One of them must have had their jersey. So I'll get to that quickly. I'll go through the hits and I'll go through the other stuff. I'll go through the hits first. Pedro Alvarez T colored jersey, some like a camo jersey, which is kinda neat. Um, Anthony Rizzo frame jersey. Todd Helton frame jersey. Uh, Jeff Locke Auto. Uh, Leonis Martin auto, uh, Jake Odorizzi auto, and the best auto, which actually deserves a top loader, believe it or not. Uh, also for the Rays, Will Myers. So that wasn't bad. Will Myers auto. Um, Gypsy Queen is very fun to open. If anyone doesn't open it, I would recommend it. Uh, there's some pretty nice stuff this year. I didn't happen to get any. But if you look online, this is some pretty sick stuff pulled. Uh, numbered minis I got were, I'll just go through the blacks first. Those are all the blacks numbered are 199. I got, um, I'm not going to show them, I'll just read them out loud. Profar, Sandoval, uh, Austin Jackson, Juan Uribe, Fernando Rodney, Phil Rizzuto, and the one Seppi I got to 50 was two months ago. I also bought this one signal just to, for my PC. Uh, Garrett Richards auto. Kind of neat. Just going to keep that. Uh, more notable, other notable stuff from Gypsy Queen I got numbered out of 499. Uh, these blue borders things of uh, Yadier Molina and Sandy Koufax. Uh, what else? Oh, I got these. These are my most notable rookies. Uh, these are actually pretty sweet. Um, these are both short prints. So, like the shirt, you don't know how to look for the short prints. They're turned backwards in the box. So like, I had, these are all the short prints I got from the two boxes. I'll just read them out loud. Sonny Gray, Josh Donaldson, Madison Bumgarner, Jose Bautista, Wade Boggs, Mariano Rivera short print. I'll show this one. It's kind of neat. Just a neat card. Um, Ted Williams and uh, Joe DiMaggio. Nice short prints. So these are some short print rookies. I got like turn of the pack backwards. I think all their rookies are short print though from what I've seen on eBay. Um, the two most notable rookies from 2014. Jose Abreu and Masahiro Tanaka. So nice stuff there. And then I'll move on. I got a bunch of inserts. I got the Debut All Stars, Glove Stories, uh, Dealing Aces, and the 1974 
They're 1974. I don't, they're 174. I forget what they're called. But I got Puig, Trout, Harper, all those guys in here. Next box. Uh, I'm going to sit the last one. Oh, I got a bunch of signals. First of all, shit, that was from a while ago. I have to make a video, though. Some really sick stuff I've been saving up for. Also, from 2014 Museum, I got this booklet of uh, next Hall of Famer. I should be on the ballot soon. But he's going to be a future Hall of Famer. Of uh, Pudge. Bat, Jersey, Jersey, Jersey. Auto out of 10. Really sick. So if you're interested in that, let me know. I'm taking offers. All this stuff is for trade for sale, as I said otherwise. Um, so far, everything I've gotten is for trade for sale, except for the Richards. That's not for trade for sale. I need to put these back in. I joined a group break of National Treasures. Uh, football with two teams. I got the Rams and the Browns. And I got... For the, sorry, my computer just shut off. This is a long video, by the way. I'm sorry for that. Um, I'll just show you. I'll leave a description of where the monster hit is in the bottom. Um, but I got a Travis Benjamin two color patch auto out of 25. It's like popping out of the card. You can't really tell. The card itself isn't very thick. The patch is thick, so the patch is just like popping out. That was my Browns hit. And I got two hits for the Rams. I got this Tavon Austin dual jersey auto at 99. It's pretty nice. And I got a booklet auto that opens. Uh, this is an eBay one of one because it is his jersey number of Tavon Austin's West Virginia Mountaineer counterpart, Stedman Bailey. Number 12 of 49. Uh, jersey number, which is kind of cool. It's an eBay one of one. Uh, okay. Next up, we'll go with basketball. Actually, no, one more football thing. I'll go football next still. I have one box of 2013 football. I got Prism. Uh, pretty bad box, I guess you could say. I've seen worse, but I've seen much better. Um, I'll just show the autos. Uh, we got Aaron Millette out of 399. Demontre Moore Redemption out of 399. Zach Sedfeld. Prism auto out of 199. And my uh, jersey auto was uh, Robert Woods out of 399. So pretty bad, but whatever. I also got a bunch of packs of like Spring Fever and Father's Day stuff. So look at the thickness of this card and tell me you don't think it's a hit. Just show the thickness. Okay? Tell me you think that's a hit. I'll show you the card right now. I thought this was a hit for sure when I saw the pack. I was like, oh god, I got like a cool jersey or something. That is the card. This isn't a joke. They made a Tim Tebow card. This thick. I don't get it, but, uh, yeah. I got, I got Puig Spring Fever, if anyone's interested in that. I got a Harper Studio 13, and I got a Strasburg Harper Pinnacle Duel. So there you go. Next, I've got Basketball. I'll go, I got 2010-2011 Contenders, which was the John Wall, I think. Yeah, it was the John Wall, Paul George year. That's what it was. Um, so I shouldn't do terribly. I'll show you. I got some numbered stuff. I'll just read it out loud. I got Gerald Henderson die cut out of 49. Ramon Sessions die cut out of 299. Uh, Brooke Lopez die cut out of 99. Uh, dual die cut of Greg Monroe, Rodney Stuckey out of, was it out of 99. Then I got these two duels. They're not numbered though. Of um, Javel McGee, John Wall. And Tyler Hansborough, Paul George. It's kind of neat. And the autos I got, I got one decent one. I got one really good one, one decent one, and two I've never even heard of. So of the two I've never even heard of. Uh, Ghani Lawal for the Suns. Uh, Daniel Orton for the Magic. Show it. And the two, one decent one was Avery Bradley for the Celtics. Not bad. And the one really good one was for the Kings, uh, Jamarcus Cousins. So that one's nice. Uh, next, we've got limited basketball. Uh, the hobby shop owner told me that he had not seen a single case hit out of either box. Uh, out of like, he said like 10 boxes. He'd seen them all open out of the case. So there are five boxes left of 2012-2013 limited basketball. 
which isn't a great product. We had like 60 bucks each. I was like, at that price, why not? I'll take two. Bye. Two bucks. I'll take I'll take two boxes. So I took two boxes, hoping I'd get a case hit. I did not get a case hit, but I'll show you what I got. Uh, I guess it could have been a lot worse, but it was not good. Uh, Ray Allen, Jersey of the Heat, out of 199. Zach Randolph, uh, Jersey for the Grizzlies, out of 199. Uh, Nikola Vucevic, Rookie Auto, Glass Rookie Auto, out of 349. Uh, Kyle Singler, Glass Rookie Auto, out of 399. And then I got Unlimited Potential Auto out of 199 of Jared Sullinger. And I guess my best card somehow was this glass cleaner auto of out of 49 of uh, I can't feel my knee Andrew Bynum. So yeah. I guess I could I should have said don't take me bowling Andrew Bynum. Either one. Uh, what do we have next? I think that's it for everything except the monster stuff. So monster stuff. Here we go. This is what I got that will hopefully make up for my day. So I got a box of 2014 Leaf Originals Leaf Originals football. Let me think. Monster hit. Okay, it was probably a giant player super short print from the draft, and you would be correct. So I'll start off with the other four cards I got. I actually, got one other card that I like a lot, which is pretty short print too. And or one card that I love that I'm just keeping. Here's a card I love that I'm keeping. I'm thinking about starting this PC of him also, Tyler Gaffney. Um, just, I love him, his story. He played, ba he played baseball, came back for his senior year to play football, actually. He didn't decide, decided to stop playing baseball in the minor leagues. Um, he rushed for over 1,700 yards and over 20 touchdowns. So um, he, ran, he had a great combine. I'm hoping he'll go fourth or fifth round and actually become uh, one of the players in uh, Panini's like, prime player set this year. Uh, next up, we've got Devin Street, receiver out of Pittsburgh, auto. we got Damien Williams out of Oklahoma, auto out of 99. Here's a bit of pretty short from card that I like. Uh, Taylor Lewan, uh, Michigan, I'm a big fan of Michigan. Number out of 25. And the monster hit. I'll show you the numbering first. I can just slow roll. I'll slow roll with Tim Tebow. Hopefully this guy doesn't become the next Tim Tebow. Um... Here we go. So I'll show the numbering first. Three of five. So a pretty short print. I slipped kind of out of the box and I was like, oh, pretty cool. I wonder who it's going to be. Then I dropped the card. It's fine. Like I dropped it like all of two centimeters onto a padded table. Um, and I slipped the back of the card. So I guess I'll show that too. And there you go. So that's pretty sick right there. Blake Bortles, red hot out of five. I've seen this sell between 200 and 400. Or this card is sold for 200, only one that's sold. Um, the Leaf Metal Draft, ungraded, red out of five, sold for 400 bidding. The 200s will buy it now, so I guess I'll probably price it somewhere between there. Um, yeah, so that probably saved my day. <laughs> Other than the Marcus Cousins and the Will Myers, there wasn't a lot great that I got. I guess the Bynum, I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider that great, but it's kind of neat. Um... But yeah, I guess it wasn't a bad day, thanks to the Bortles. And I actually opened this box first, so I was pretty excited the whole time. I wasn't really upset that I didn't get much else. Um, so yeah, I'd say it was a pretty successful day. Could have been worse, could have been better. Um, but by no means am I upset. So, Blake Bortles, Auto Auto 5. Picked a good box. Thank you for watching. And that's for Trade for Sale, by the way. Um, and yeah. Yeah, thank you.